It's Tuesday, the 30th of April, 2024. That means it's the weekly reset in Destiny 2, where the content rotates, the vendors and the challenges reset, and we've got a chance for new content to end the game. Well, stay tuned for info related to Into the Light. We've got new weapons this week. We've got featured rain dungeon content. We've got nightfall weapons, banshees, weekly weapons, and what is in the other store this week? Well, it's week 23 of Season of the Wish, and it's week 4 of Into the Light. So we've got two new brave weapons available this week, including Lunar's Howl and Blast Furnace. Two very, very good weapons. So what you want to do is go to the Hall of Champions and pick up the two new quests from our site. Complete those quests and then start chasing the god rolls of Lunar's Howl and Blast Furnace. Also, the Super Black Shader is available today, so you've only got until the 4th of June to get it. And so make sure you can get it while you can. Pantheon has also been added into the game today. This is a raid boss rush mode and that launches today. I went over all the details we know about Pantheon yesterday, so make sure to check out that video. Well, Shax has some quests for Pantheon. If you complete the quest, you better pick up a raid exotic weapon from our site. Well, Lord Saladin is back in the tower. That can mean only one thing. The Iron Banner is back and it's another great chance to get the Tusk of the Born as a strand waveframe grenade launcher. So good luck jumping into Crucible this week. Well, next up, let's have a look at the exotic mission rotator. We've got Presage. That means the craftable Dead Man's Tail is back. And uh, weapons are from Season of the Haunted. Plus, we've got the opulent weapons as well, including Ostringer, Drang, Callus Mini Tool, and also Beloved. Well, next up, we've got the featured raid for the week. That is the Garden of Salvation. So another really good chance to get Divinity if you haven't already got that weapon. Next up for the featured dungeon, we've got the Spire of the Watcher. That means you can get the Hierarchy of Needs exotic bow, and also this dungeon has great artifice armor. Well, next up, we've got the Nightfall and the Grandmaster Nightfall content for the week. So the strike this week is the Corrupted. You can find that on the Dreaming City. The weapon is the Wild Style Grenade Launcher, plus you'll get a chance to get an Adept version if you do the Grandmaster Nightfall. Finally, let's have a look at Crucible. I think the big news this week is Iron Banner is back, but we've also got Clash, and uh, we've also got Showdown as well. And because Iron Banner is here, that means Trials is taking the weekend off. So, best thing to do is jump into Iron Banner this week and get all that loot. Next up, let's check in with Banshee44. We've got the Hake weapons and the Viced weapons. Have a look at the featured weapons. We've got Whispering Slab with Killing Wind and Vorpal Weapon. We've got Cartesian Coordinate with Hipfire Grip and Vorpal Weapon. We've got the Volper Cooler with Shoot to Loot and Multi Kill Clip. We've got Disparity with Either Storm and Desperado. That is very, very tasty indeed. And we've got Bump in the Night with Stats Fall and Frenzy. Also a very, very good roll. We've got a couple of good weapons this week. We've got Hipfire Grip and Vorpal for Cartesian. We have Either Storm Desperado. That is good. That is hot. I like it. Very, very good. So make sure you pick up that if you want a decent pulse rifle. But of course, we do have Blast Furnace added back into the game today. Finally today, let's have a look at the Eververse store and the items for Bright Dust. So first of all, Princely Presence. And then we've got... Uh, po and then we've got Aposemitism. We've got Lattice Entrance. Also got Great White. That one is an ornament for Hammerhead, so very appropriate. Very nice. We've got Rimshot. Have a look at the rest of the Bright Dust items. We've got Infinity Door Projection. We have Iridescent Death. Crimson, of course. We've got the Lone Howl. Very Iron Banner appropriate. The Pool Bearer. Also Overcharged Shell. And the Symmetrist's Palms. We've got Destructive Wizard. For all those Potter fans out there. We've got Dreaming Shimmer. Harpy's Cry. 
Also, Corrupt Ether. Pretty good one. We've got Cursed Azure. Boreal Char. That is good. Do like that one. Very nice. Copper Band, or Copper Brand, I should say. And Bloody Tooth. Also very good. Look at that. But well, that is about it for the weekly reset information on the 30th of April 2024. The big news today is Pantheon. The raid boss rush mode has been added into the game. We've got two new weapons with Luna's Howl and Blast Furnace to chase. And also Iron Banner is here. So loads to get your teeth stuck into this week in Destiny 2. Well, whatever you get up to in Destiny 2 this week, I hope you have a good turn. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Even more Destiny 2 content. But loads of stuff coming as we lead up to the final shape. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon. Well, thank you for watching that video. And today I'd like to talk about Endgame Express Backstage, the home of exclusive content for fans of Endgame Express. To join, simply join up through Patreon or the YouTube membership. You get early access and exclusive content, shout outs in the videos, access to live streams, plus also access to our exclusive Endgame Express Backstage Community Discord. Well, here's some more information about the tiers. So in Tier 1, that is $2.99 a month, you get access to our Community Discord and also early access to content. In Tier 2, that is $4.99 and you get shoutouts in the credits of videos and also you get access to community polls and help shape the content. For Tier 3, that is $8.99 and you'll get access to exclusive community videos and also get access to exclusive live streams as well. Well, the core content on Endgame Express is always going to be free, but if you want to go above and beyond and support Endgame Express, then all you need to do is get access to Endgame Express backstage today through Patreon or YouTube membership. You know, Endgame Express is a one-man band right now, but I would love to expand into more games, podcasts, more channels, but to do that, I'm going to need your help to make this sustainable, and in return, I offer you some exclusive benefits and backstage-only content. Well, if you enjoy Endgame Express, then consider Endgame Express backstage today. You can hit that membership button right down below, or you can find us on the Patreon links, and you'll find those links in the description. Well, thank you for listening, and thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you very soon.